Hello everyone, I am Akash Patel working in IFO Technolab Private Limited. Today, I am going to explain you various types of join used in SQL. So the first question arises, what is join? Uh, SQL join is used to combine record from two or more table in a database. A join is a means for combining fields from two tables by using values commons to each. A relational operator that causes two or more table with a common domain to be combined into a single table or a view. SQL joins creates a set of row in a temporary table. There are two types of joins, equijoins and non-equijoins. Equijoin is a simple SQL join. It uses equals to sign as a comparison operator for the condition. And non-equijoins uses comparison operator other than equal sign. The operator used like greater than, greater than equals to, less than, less than equals to with the condition. There are two types of equijoins, inner join and outer join. Inner join, it returns on match row from the participating table. The match happens only at the key record of the participating table. The outer join, outer join return all the row from the one table and matching row from the secondary table and the comparison column should be equals in both the tables. This is the various types of SQL joins I have explained you in this video. Inner joins, left join, that is left after join, right join, right join is also known as right after join, full after join and natural join. So let's start with the inner join. What is inner join? Inner join selects all the row from the participating table as long as there is a match between the columns. The match between the columns that is primary key of both the tables. If matching occurs in the primary key of both the tables, that value should be displayed. An SQL inner join is same as join clause combining rows from two tables or more tables. This is an example in which we have used these two tables employee and employee city. Suppose if we write this query select star from employee inner join employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id. This employee.id and employee city.id is a primary key of both the table. It will display the output where the match occurs in employee.id and employee city.id as I have shown here in the output. That means it will display the common data of both the tables. As you can see in the Venn diagrams, the blue portion, that is the common rows of both the tables. The next is left after join. What is left after join? The left after joins joins two tables and fetches row based on the condition which are matching in both the tables. The unmatched row will also be available from the table before the join close. Here we have used the same table which is used in inner join. Suppose we write the query, select star from employee, left join, employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id. It will show whole data from the employee table and the match row from employee table and the employee city table. As you can see in the output and the Venn diagrams, the blue portion shows the data which is in the output. That is the whole data from the employee table and the match data from employee table and the employee city table. So I can give you an, another example in which it will show only the data from the employee table where the ID and the address of employee city is null. So the query like select star from employee left join employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id where employee city.id is null. This shows the only the data from the employee table which is not matched. As you can see in the output and the Venn diagram also. Now the next is right join. What is right join? A right join joins the table and fetches the row based on the condition which are matching in both the tables. The unmatched row will also be available from the table after the join clause. In the left join we have written that the unmatched row will also be available from the table before the join clause and here it is after the join clause. We have used the table that we have used earlier that is employee table and employee city. So the example query of right after join is select star from employee, right join, employee city on employee ID 
equals to employee city dot id that means it will show the data of employee city and the matched data from employee and employee city table you can see in the Venn diagram and also in the output now the another query to show only the data from employee city which is not matched the query like select star from employee right join employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id where employee.id is null it will only show the data which remains unmatched from the employee city table now the next is full outer join what is full outer join it combines the result of both left outer and right outer join it returns all the match row and unmatch row includes table on both the side of join clause the example of full outer join the same table we have used earlier employee and employee city the query like select star from employee full outer join employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id it will show all the data from both the tables that means the match row and unmatched row from employee table and employee city table you can see in the Venn diagram the whole diagram shows blue that means all the data will be displayed the next example would be it will show only the data which is not common that means it will show the data which are not matched so to show that data we have to write the query select star from employee full outer join employee city on employee.id equals to employee city.id where employee.id is null or employee city.id is null it will show only the unmatched data not the common data of both the tables you can also see in the output 